Hey, it's Ginger Ninja, and this is my first video log. I'm creating this log for a few reasons. One of which is to keep me consistent, keep me honest, and to prove to you guys that I'm real and the stuff I'm posting to Photocracy, which is where I log my workouts, is actually legitimate. I'm going to eventually get something for my iPhone so I can actually record my workouts, my rep maxes, and make sure you guys know that all that is accurate as well. So I have a Facebook page now, and I'm going to use that to post stuff that I like about fitness and not annoy all my friends that maybe are resentful or not into fitness with all that stuff. And I think the majority of people viewing this video are actually people that are already on that page. So thanks for the likes up front, and I promise things will hopefully get a little bit more interesting. So to start out, about a year ago, I was 185 pounds. Actually, it's more like a year and three months ago. I was pretty heavy. I was fluctuating actually between 180 to 185, but when you're 5'6", that's pretty big. And I just went through a few rough points in my life and realized that I really needed to change. Eliminating soda and doing some sort of physical activity that I normally didn't do were the very first two steps that I took in approaching fitness and health. I didn't know what the end result was going to be. I didn't even know what my first goals were. I just knew that something needed to change. About a month after I cut out soda, I noticed I dropped about 10 pounds. And that prompted something in me to reevaluate everything I've been doing in the last maybe 10 years and see what needs to change. So I cut out fast food. Just completely, utterly cut out fast food. And kind of around the same time, I noticed a few of my friends were talking about these videos they were doing called Insanity. Uh, I, they were doing just a few of the videos of the program. I, for some reason, decided that I should do the whole entire program. So I bought Insanity and committed myself to actually going through and doing a whole entire run of it. Needless to say, it kicked my ass. It was basically high-intensity cardio, six out of seven days of the week, sometimes only five depending on the rest video. And coming from not doing much cardio at all, just sitting around, it really, really made me realize how out of shape I really was. I did insanity on a caloric deficit, which looking back might not have been the best idea, but I'm sure glad I did because after insanity, I dropped 40 pounds. And when those 40 pounds went away, I was extremely motivated to see where I needed to take everything. So ended up being 137 pounds, a little skinny, and everybody was saying that I really needed muscle. I won't lie, I had a little bit of a body image issue at that point. At 137 pounds, I was like, if I lose more, maybe I'll look a little better. But I was 137 pounds and barely had any muscle. I had what my body built up from insanity, but at a caloric deficit, I burned off probably more than I would have gained if I would have actually done a muscle building program and ate a little bit more. So then I did Strongless 5x5 five five, as recommended by my friend Neil and read through the program, looked great. It focuses on the major lifts, the bench press, deadlift, overhead press, and bent over barbell rows, as well as the squats. That was all new to me. I did some heavy research, made sure I was doing proper form, and decided to give it all a shot. I started with just a bar at 45 pounds. That was about a year ago last March. And now my rep maxes are all decently high. I'm 146 pounds at 5'6". And my deadlift one rep max is 385. My squat one rep max is 252. The uh, overhead press one rep max for me is about 135. And bench press one rep max is around 202. Uh, that's my weakest, honestly. But uh, I will be definitely working on that now that I switch to a different program other than Strongless 5x5. So this week right now is my deload week in 531, and that basically means I'm taking off about half the weight and going through the motions just to make sure I, I go through the patterns so my nervous system sees those patterns and knows that, hey, the weight's lighter, I get time to rest and recover and rebuild. And then next week I'll start my second month of the program, and I'm super excited because I've already made some decent gains in terms of um, rep maximums. I with strong lifts, you do five by five, which is why they call it five by five. Five sets, five reps, lifting heavy. Well, with the five through one program, you do your work sets, which is usually working up to, I think about 90% of your one rep max. And for that last set, 
you do as many as you can. You go all out. So that's a good way to kind of gauge where you're at with your rep maximums and push through plateaus. And then when you go for your one rep maxes, surprise yourself with just how much you can actually lift. So the YouTube channel is going to be a couple things for me. I'm going to actually use it to post these video logs and rants as well as maybe some tutorials and informational things with the technology I use in fitness. For the rants, I think the next video will definitely be about sleeping, uh, especially in terms of how light affects sleep and what that can do to the quality of sleep that you have. So what does Ginger Ninja do to log his workouts? Well, as most of you watching this probably already know, I use Photocracy to log pretty much every workout that I do. By pretty much, I mean exactly every workout that I do. Sometimes even more because I look at the points that I get, a lot more points, and realize I should be doing more exercises. And it's addicting, awesome, fun, as well as informative because I can track the performance of my workouts with Photocracy as well. And I'll add a link to Photocracy under this video, so if you're interested, you can go check it out and see my page. And if you want to get into it or have any questions, just let me know, and uh, it's a great community. Everybody there is super polite, super friendly. I don't think I bumped into too many people there that I just didn't like, and that says a lot about a site like that. It's more addicting, honestly. Uh, in the social aspect than Facebook just because my passion lies in fitness technology and geeky things and photography definitely definitely provides a platform for for all three of those combined. So that's it for my first video log. I'm going to be doing these weekly at least and track what I'm doing just to keep a uh, log and motivate myself as well as let you guys know what's going on because I know a lot of you in photography are definitely a little bit curious and I just want to give a shout out to all you guys that are following me on Photocracy. There are a lot of you and you're all amazing and seriously, seriously awesome seeing props from all of you and I love sitting there for a few hours and just going through and propping all your workouts and your activities because that, it's just, it's such an awesome community. I, it's addicting too, I'm not going to lie. Damn it.